Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, it's after Thanksgiving. Y'all got that. Y'all know I hate turkey. You have that big old disgusting turkey on you that they didn't eat, <laughs> and you wonder what should you do with it. Now, I'm going to tell you two ways I will get rid of turkey, and I'll actually eat it. Because y'all already know, they eat a turkey, just roast it, and eat it like that. I can't stand it. I have to modify it and change it into something else. Then I can eat it. So I'm going to show y'all one way to get rid of that leftover turkey. We're going to get rid of the turkey. I got turkey breast here I picked off and the turkey thigh and leg meat. For this particular video, as you already see, it's old school turkey pot pie. I'm only using the thigh and uh, and uh, drumstick meat. The leg and thigh meat. That's what I'm going to use. You can use the breast if you want to. But... To, to me, it literally dries it out as you more you go cook it because I'm going to cook this even more. So what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to step off here. And I have, like I said, the turkey thigh meat right here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to dice it up in nice little pieces. I picked it off the bird like this. I just picked it off. I didn't actually cut it up. I need to take some of the skin off of here. I'm going to take the gristle out of here and kind of clean it up and pick through it. I want it to be a nice, chunky uh, turkey pot pie. So, uh, and then I have the breast here, but breast gonna be for another video, y'all. So, yes, yeah, coming up. So, all the things, pot pie, you can do it however you want. It's different ways you can do it, whatever you have in your refrigerator. That's the key to getting rid of the leftover Thanksgiving turkey. I'm using onions. Sometimes you onion and celery. All the celery is gone on heavy, so I'm gonna just use onion. I always keep frozen vegetables in my freezer. It doesn't matter. Sometimes I just use peas and carrots. This one, I'm gonna have peas, carrots. I got. Uh, green beans in here and uh, and uh, corn. So all that's going in there. And then of course I'm gonna hit it with some cream, give it some body. I'll show you the whole process. Sometimes I make it with puff pastry, but today I'm gonna make it with pie crust. It doesn't matter, I did it both ways. At my job where I retired, we did it with puff pastry on it. We did it uncrewed. Uncrewed means with puff pastry. That's what we did it at the club for many, many years. It's absolutely amazing. The chicken pot pie soaked in the Puff buttery puff pastry, it's amazing. But anyway, I'm gonna step off. I'm gonna uh, fabricate this uh, this turkey here, get it, get our skin off, and uh, get it nice bite-sized pieces. We're gonna come back, put the chicken pot pie. I teach say chicken pot pie, turkey pot pie together. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, y'all, I got this uh, turkey fabricated here, and I got a little breast in there, but I just chopped it up really, really small. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna saute these onions off. If I had celery, I would saute the celery off too right now. I just wanna sweat them down a little, even though they're gonna boil in the in the stock here. I'm gonna kinda sweat them out just a little. And we're gonna add some chicken stock. What I'm gonna do is add some water and uh Add some chicken base to this. Let me get my water out here. It is so easy to put together, y'all. Especially uh, since the turkey's already ready. If I'm making a real chicken pot pot, I have to boil the chicken, make the stock from the chicken, take the chicken out, pick the chicken off the bone, and all that. But this. The turkey's already ready, so I just got to make the base for the pot pie, and then pour it in the pour it in the bowl and put the turkey on top of it and bake it. Okay, we're gonna add a little water to this, y'all, because we're gonna make a little chicken chicken stock here. Get that moved around. I'm not gonna make as much as I usually do. You, I make a big pot of this. This is perfect, y'all, from after Thanksgiving, you know, in November, the weather is cold. I know I got a lot of people in Chicago watch me, and especially New York. I know right now, I'm doing this video, Buffalo, New York, they got 30 inches of snow in the last couple of days. They had to move the football game to somewhere else. They couldn't play the football game for, for Sunday. So we're gonna get this little bit more water here, y'all. I 
I'm gonna let this boil. I wanna let this kind of come to a boil. Then we come back, we're gonna add some. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna go away. I'm gonna season this and get all this done right now. We're gonna do all this right now, y'all. Uh, you see it's already since I put the hot water that's the key I put hot water in that so it ain't gonna take long to bring this up so what I want to do now I want to add some cream to this it's gonna give it some body and then I'll step off and let this come up to temperature that's what you want to do. You're going to get some body to this. If you don't have cream, you can use half and half. You can use milk. But cream is definitely a game changer to this, y'all. So, now I'm going to step off. Let this cream come up to temperature. We're going to come back. I got some old school roux right here that's left over. <coughs> left over. Y'all know I've been using roux a lot during Thanksgiving. I got a little left over. Let me see if I got enough to thicken this up. Y'all know I use roux for my Give the Gravy. I use roux for my cheese sauce. So I tell y'all, you need a lot of roux during the holiday season. Matter of fact, y'all, I'll see you next when they come back. So we'll come back. Once this comes to a ball, we'll come back and finish this up. All right, y'all, we back. All right, this got this ball in here. And what I want to do, y'all, I want to put some roux in here and I want to tighten this up a little. Bit. Let me get my whisk here. Y'all know, uh, Use a whisk so I don't it don't uh, clump up on me. So I'm just making a little cream sauce here, y'all. Hope I got enough root here to do this. I should have enough. Should have enough to do thicken this up. I think I have to stop and make more root because I need to. Uh, Make it thick enough, because I'm going to add these frozen vegetables to this, which has water on them. So I want it to be thick enough to accommodate when the cold vegetables go in there. Okay, put my last spoon here. We're going to see if we're going to... This going to work, y'all. It's hard to leave here. We don't have enough here. I have to do a little bit more roux. And I'm going to show y'all how to make roux freehand here. Y'all about to learn on the fly. If you ever run out and you need roux right away, what I'll do, because I need to thicken this a little bit more, I need a little bit more roux. And y'all know I keep oil on my stove. So what I'll do, I'll put the oil in here like this. This is usually chicken grease, which is perfect. And I'll take some, uh, yeah, I know already that I keep. Hold on here, let me stir this. I don't want this to burn. Turn it down. And I'll take some flour. And we'll add some flour to this, just like this. And we'll stir it up in here. You got roux on the fly. That's how we do it in the in the professional kitchens. You want to thicken something right away on the fly? We call it on the fly, meaning you need it right away. Stir it up like that. And then we'll pour it in there like that. And then I'll thicken the rest of it up. See that? There we go. Now, just turn down here. Sure this thing is really tight now a little bit more y'all make sure this do not lump up on you okay now what I'm gonna do now come out the way we're gonna uh, add our vegetables to this some frozen vegetables and that's gonna loosen this up a little you'll see here in a second let me 
we turn the fire down a little bit more. I want to make sure it's completely smooth. And once I add the vegetables to this, I'll season it up. I'm not going to season it right now because I'm going to add the vegetables. It's going to take away from the... I don't want to turn people's Alexa's on. Alexa, stop. Like Everybody Alexa going to go off and swatch it. <laughs> Okay, y'all. Now, we're going to add our mixed vegetables to this. Like I said, you can add whatever mixed vegetables you want, y'all. It's all up to y'all. Whatever you have. Okay. Add that to do. You can see how that sauce loosened up a little. That's why I did it really, really thick. I know when I had the vegetables, it was going to loosen out the sauce a little. Okay, now, now we can season this up. Got the base here. Now we're gonna put some salt and pepper in here. Now, salt and pepper. I still got the. I still got the. Uh, a little by little. Remember, y'all, that uh, that your chicken base had salt too, so. Here, I think I need just a pad more salt. That's it. And you can always salt it at the table, y'all. See that nice chicken pot? I keep saying chicken pot pie, but turkey pot pie base. Uh, you can use this for chicken. You can use it for beef pot pie if you want to. Now that's the base you right there. And as it cook in the oven, of course it's going when it when the when the moisture from the turkey hit it, it's gonna loosen it up a little. That's why you want it kind of thick like that. You don't want it no looser than that. So we're gonna step off clean up. We're gonna come back, we're gonna put it in the pan with the hot dough and cook in the oven about 30, 40 minutes. And we're gonna have us some good old turkey pot pie and get rid of that old leftover turkey. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, let's put this, put this thing together here. Y'all just watch the pot there. I got two more pans. egg wash here. All right, y'all, we got our base done. Now, what we gonna do, we gonna put this thing together. Um, what I'm doing, I'm making an egg wash for the top, y'all. That's what I'm doing so it gives a nice color. Okay, now we got our pan over here. What I'm going to do, the turkey is the most important thing in here. So you want to put more turkey than sauce. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dump all that turkey just like that in there, y'all. Just in there. Just like that. Got a little left here. So I'm gonna make a little bitty one. Okay, got the turkey in there. Now we're gonna go in here with the sauce. I'm gonna move the pot over here. Find my ladle. We just need to get organized. Y'all know I'm always organized. Okay, we're gonna put our pot over here. Let me get a towel here. I hate to put a hot pot. That's a no no in the kitchen. Never put a hot pot in a cutting board. And I, in the kitchen industry, in the, <laughs> that is, they will rip you apart. Don't ever do that, y'all. Because it, it'll burn the cutting board and leave the markings on the cutting board, y'all. They never know that you work in the big kitchen. Okay, now, all I'm going to do, y'all, we're going to ladle this sauce right over the top of this turkey. Just like that. And as this cooks... All that sauce gonna go down in there and it's all gonna become one. And all up on top of that, just like that, y'all. Look at that. And I got enough, like I say, to make a little bitty pot pie later, which is perfect. I can make a mini pot pie. Okay, now, we're gonna get fancy with this here. I'm gonna do a little lattice around it, on top of it. 
You don't have to do that. You can just throw it on top there if you want to. But I'm going to be fancy with it. Do a little lattice. Lattice cut there. you can do this y'all just put it on there like this y'all just like this There's no long how it should be <coughs> no long how it should be so make sure you just get it all on there that's all <coughs> like I, said, I got crust on the bottom and the top here that now all I'm gonna do now is just push down in there I got my little egg wash here and I'm just brushing the egg wash I'm gonna give it a nice little shine as it's cooking you don't have to do this either it's something I'm used to doing making them you know in in the professional you at home you ain't professional so <coughs> Go. <coughs> Brush it up like that. And it's gonna take about what, about 45 minutes in the oven, y'all. It's gonna come out nice and bubbly and yummy. And I'm telling y'all, this is perfect for this time of the year and the perfect way to get rid of all that leftover turkey, y'all, that you got sitting around and nobody ate because you overcooked it. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. The pot pie is out of the oven, nice and golden brown on top. And before I went away, I was going to tell y'all, y'all probably were going to ask, Chef Jeffrey, why didn't you mix the turkey with the sauce and pour it in there? I'm going to tell y'all why I put the turkey on the bottom. Because the turkey is less liquidy, and I'm using a raw dough on the bottom. So I want the sauce and all that to adhere to the turkey. If I had to put the sauce on the bottom and just pour it in the bottom, on the pie dough, it would have been really, really soggy and more difficult for the pie dough on the bottom to cook. That's why I put the turkey first and the sauce on top and it adhere and mix together like that where the bottom crust is not so doughy. It, of course, it's not going to be crispy like this on the top, but it will be cooked if I, if, by adding just the turkey on there and not mixing it together. So just letting y'all know why i did that i know a lot of people saying why he just didn't mix it like that that's why i did it like that so anyway i'm gonna let this step off here i'm gonna let this cool i ain't gonna burn been burning my mouth a lot here lately with these videos y'all so i'm gonna let this cool in about 20 30 minutes we're gonna come back and get a nice bowl of this and we'll see how it is we'll be right back all right y'all we back the pot pie look at this here this thing is hot y'all still hot but that's where it's supposed to be, pot pie, actually. Y'all see how this set up in here? It's not runny. It's not too thick. That's exactly the way you want it. The only thing I like about my pot pie, I like a lot of meat in it. Of course, if this is turkey, but hey, it is what it is. Let me get a little dough. I love the dough and the sauce. Let me go in here, y'all. It's going to be hot. But I love y'all the uh, using the dark meat because the breast, even though I got a few pieces of breast in here, I think the dark meat tastes so much better in pot pie than the breast meat. But anyway, let's see here. Awesome, y'all. Mm-hmm. Perfect on the day. Okay, when it's raining and cold and no way. That's not Thanksgiving. The weather's always cold. Good way to use up your leftover turkey, y'all. If you want to put breast in it, you can. If you have turkey left over, some people don't. You can use it for chicken, hen, whatever. I'm going to bite. This stuff is hot. That's why I'm taking my time, y'all. Mm. Awesome. Awesome. So, let me close this video out. If you like this video, 
Please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media account. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022? Helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.